I got some good news for you. If you're wondering when the $35,000 version of uh, Model 3 is coming out, also there's more news about the dual motor version as well. It's all good. Of course, we're going to talk about the controversial topic I reported on yesterday about Tesla Autopilot possibly being one of the worst in the industry. Arr, a lot of people jumped on that. Uh, there's a lot of blood going around in the comment section of that video. And of course, comment of the day, we're going to talk about it all in the next 10 minutes right here at E4 Electric, your number one source for what's happening now in the world of electric cars. And we're going to start right now. Take it All right, Tesla Model 3, of course, has been in the news a lot lately. We talk about it pretty much every other day, sometimes every day. But there are more and more of good news coming out uh, about the car. We kind of made peace with the fact that, hey, you know, it's been delayed. Uh, but now we kind of know the timeline. It looks like it's been settled and uh, they're rolling out of the production line here at Fremont Factory pretty steadily. Now it's growing. So good news there. But Everyone's been wondering, where are we going to get that $35,000 version that we've been promised? The world's been promised. So, um, well, there's some good news. Uh, Tesla configurator for the Model 3 has been updated. And now they are actually promising, uh, there are a bunch of different options and so forth, but they're now promising that uh, the $35,000 version, which is a standard uh, battery range, is going to be coming out in early 2018. That's what they're saying, early 2018, which means... You know, it could be very soon. I mean, early could be as late as March, but it could be as early as tomorrow. Doubt it's tomorrow. But as you know, they've been rolling out the display cars to their uh, showrooms in California, Florida, New York. One of my viewers reported one possibly in New Jersey. And so they're really pushing hard on this right now. So it is probably no surprise that they are going to be um, at least uh, releasing the uh, the way for people to configure it. Don't forget that you can configure whenever you configure the Model Three, you will still end up waiting about four weeks for it to hit to hit to be at your door basically. So let's say if they're gonna uh, start producing in March first, they can really open the configurator on February first for that. So whenever someone will see it for the first time, when we'll probably all get, get notifications about it, it's probably gonna be a month away when actually going to roll one out of the factory. But this is good news. I actually, to be honest with you, I expected this not to be until maybe uh, July or August. So this is good news. This is, I mean, it looks like it's in the next uh, uh, few months. There's also news about the dual motor, by the way. And before I go any further, if this is your first time watching this channel, welcome. If you're interested in staying up to date with everything that's going on in the world of electric cars, please consider subscribing so you can become a part of this awesome community. As you can see, we got a lot of people in chat room. Anton from Sweden, Nico from Greece, my girlfriend's uh, right there from Mountain View, uh, Corey Goodman from South Cal, Jason from UK, uh, Helmut from Orlando, and of course, Tony from Minneapolis, Ben from Canada. I can be reading this all day long, but guys, uh, th this community is just awesome. Let me know what you think when you think uh, the... Uh, um, the uh, standard version of Model 3 is going to be coming out. And there's, of course, another thing that kind of leaked. This is a picture of the dual motor configuration that wasn't really supposed to go on the website, but I guess this uh, um, a user ear, uh, E-A-E-R on Reddit, uh, kind of uh, fished it out of there and posted it. This is what it looks like. I uh, really don't really, I mean, as you can see, there are smaller motors as expected, but um, this is definitely is good news because now we kind of know that they're gearing up not just for the short range uh, version but also for the dual motor i would be surprised if they're rolling out all these pictures and even uploading them uh in a shadow mode if it's half a year away so it could be much um much sooner now on their website they're saying it's spring 2018 is when the dual motor thing is going on sale now uh dual motor is expected to go after their standard range so if if dual motor is is uh, promised in spring then definitely the uh, standard range will be before spring which means really a couple more months so that's just my math going on in my head though i have to say besides electric.co no one's really making a story out of it but this is a big deal if this is this is really happening that means that they're ahead of their schedule as far as releasing the 35,000 um, uh, version of the Model 3. So I say that's great news for all of us. Um, and, you know, especially for those who are waiting for the $35,000 version. Tony in the chat room says, Alex, the camera frame cuts off your shirt. For the benefit of the newcomers, you may want to let us know what your shirt says. 
Uh, really, it just says no CO2 is given. That's all it says right now. Uh, this you can you can see this shirt in the description of this video to the link to my store. But thank you for asking. I design this funny type of shirt myself. Um, all right, uh, ten thousand subscribers coming up soon. Said Helmuth. Yes, I believe so. I'm definitely excited about it and thank you guys for being part of this community. Oh, and by the way, let me remind you that this stream and this channel is sponsored by Evanex, the aftermarket accessories for Tesla. You can find your own discount code just for this community in the description of this video if you'd like to shop there. Okay, let me address something that I brought up yesterday about Tesla Autopilot. This was a story coming out uh, from a study done uh, by, um, by a research group about Tesla Autopilot being literally dead last in the industry. Now, of course, people are questioning about the, you know, who paid for the study and how the study was done. And that's all legitimate. I totally understand. But at the same time, don't forget, Tesla Autopilot hasn't gotten better since it pretty much came out, what, two and a half years ago. As a matter of fact, the, the current version of the Autopilot is not as good as the first version of the Pilot. So it's no surprise that other companies have already bypassed Tesla. Cruise Automation was purchased by GM. They're rated as number one. Uh, Waymo, uh, that's owned by Google, they've been developing their technology for a long, long time. Now they're testing, actually, I should be t saying testing. They're using their... Um, Chrysler minivans that are they're retrofitted with uh, self-driving options without a driver in the driver's seat level for driving for customers delivering them from point A to B in Phoenix area. Yes, it's still small area, but you guys have to understand and I, I, I know I get jumped on when I say anything a little bit uh, 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 negative about Tesla, but guys, I'm a messenger here. My job is to provide you with all types of news. This study came out. And listen, it's no secret. It shouldn't have been blowing anyone's mind that um, uh, that you know uh, the autopilot is behind. Uh, now people were saying, "Oh well, Alex, but you know this is the only production car really uh, that you can buy." Well, that's not true because you know Mercedes, BMW, Infiniti, and other companies have all those features that Tesla has. They're just not calling it autopilot that have them all in their gas cars. So that's not true. And let me emphasize it very, and this is important. I just came from CES. I talked to a lot of different executives. I went to a lot of different unveilings and presentations. The autonomous driving technology is not going towards us right now, the drivers. Where the industry looks like they're heading is providing the technology for the Uber-like services, and that's what Chevy is going to be doing. Uh, that's what Waymo is doing. It's going to be for Uber-like services first, and then it's going to be coming to our cars. Yes, the autopilot type of assisting driving, assisted driving features on Level Three will be available more and more. But it, the technology is really targeting right now. The companies are targeting the Uber-like services, so that's very important to mention. Um, so yeah, um, uh, Tony says about the T-shirt. I thought there was no uh, more. There was more uh, underneath. No, that's it. <laughs> that's that's all it says, man. Uh, <laughs> so um, uh, Saga Photo uh, D says uh, there are rumors that the margin of the Model Three is about twenty-two percent on average. If that's true, we can expect about fifteen percent for the base version. Yes, it is important for Tesla to make money on these cars, and the margins are much smaller for thirty-five thousand dollar version car. But nevertheless, you gotta make them uh, to. To, to really create their a revolution, which I believe Model 3 is really creating. Um, and that's Cook Arpo, who doesn't know that his comment is going to be comment of the day today yet, uh, started this conversation about profits on a uh, $35,000 version. Okay, so, you know, I just want to make sure that people understand that the, 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 the autopilot version, uh, uh, autopilot story is really not, I mean, even if the study is not 100% technically correct, a lot of people think that Tesla is the only one who has it in production. That's not true. A lot of people, uh, and don't forget the study was about who has the better technology. You know, technology doesn't have to be out and about already, or it doesn't have to be in your particular car available to you. Technology could be just out there. And that's, I believe, what was being compared. Um, uh, um, uh, Cordero Jones says, I think it was a mistake for Tesla to make the high-end Model 3. First, just look at the people waiting for the standard range Model 3. If you're going to pay $60,000 for Tesla, it should be a Model S. Well, so here's the thing. This is the way they've rolled out this, you know, the Model S and Model X and originally anyway. They rolled out a high-end version because they needed to make money on it. The higher-end versions always uh, always may have a higher margin of profit, so they had to do it. Um, that is basically the, 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 really just there was no other way. They need to make money on Model 3, they need to show their investors that they're making money on it. So that's, 
that was important. By the way, let, let me remind you guys also that um, I have a video out since last night about Kia Nero EV, which I believe is probably the biggest underreported story of the year because Kia Nero, uh, Kia Nero EV is a, a three, 238 a uh, mile uh, SUV that's going on sale this year. We just found out it at CES. The reason it's going to production so fast is because Kia is already making a plug-in uh, plug uh, hybrid version of it. So that makes sense that they can bring it to production very, very quickly. So watch it on my channel. I think it's a pretty good report. And of course, thank you to all of my Patreons who have contributed to the show. If you're interested, if you're interested in contributing, Go ahead and check it out, the link in the description of this video as well. All right, let's move on to the comment of the day. And it comes to our, from a pretty regular guy who contributes to this community a lot, Cook Arpa. He says, Alex, you're a nice guy, however, okay, I, nothing ever good comes out, anything that starts with, hey, you're a nice guy, but... All right, I'll keep reading, all right? Do not, do not get caught up in a hype of uh, concept and prototype vehicles, no matter the company. These companies are achieving their marketing and PR objectives by being able to manipulate people like you and your viewers as well. Don't be uh, like the fish in a pond reacting to the bait that was just dropped in a lake. Be careful to not get hooked. All right. Fair enough. I do report on a lot of concepts, especially I just came to CES and I just went to the semi truck unveiling. And I do report about concepts and things that are coming out maybe in two or three years. But the thing is, is uh, everything has to start with a concept. The company has to commit to electrifying their fleet. They have to commit some money to their factories, to their staff and so forth. And they have to give us some specs, some expectations because by the time the car is uh, rolling out of production, you know, we're, it, it's, it's done, it's over with. There's really not much new. So yes, I do report on, um, on the prototypes a lot because uh, I think another big point that I'm also trying to make is that you know, only a year ago, there was just Tesla. There was really mainly, I forget about the Nissan Leaf or, you know, whatever. I, I Listen, there was just Tesla running the show. Now, a lot of companies are coming around. They're investing money. They're electrifying their fleet. So I believe it's important to keep our eye on what's coming. And those of you who are actually looking to buy a car in the next one or two years, not everyone's ready to buy right now. Uh, are those people like myself also keeping our eyes on what the companies do, what prototypes they have, how fast they're bringing them to the market and what the infrastructure and other perks or whatever uh, 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 is going to uh, be for that company. So that is actually important to report on this. It's important. And I got to tell you, a lot of times it's just exciting. It's just exciting to see what technology is going to be coming out. I'm never saying that, hey, this car is definitely going to make it. But with, you know, for example, with Kia, right? It's a concept, but it's going to be here by the end of this year. With Fisker, Listen, I was a little bit less sort of optimistic. I was saying, listen, here's another concept. It's not going to be coming out in two or three years. I ask, I ask uh, uh, Mr. Fisker some tough questions about it. So I think I've been pretty realistic about what's concept, what's real, what's not real. So, but I understand your concept, I, I con comment and I appreciate it. So obviously I don't want to get caught up in all of that, but I feel like I've been pretty fair. Um, uh, Flynn567 in chat room says, I'm hearing lots of people are still waiting for the Model 3. I think a lot of them are waiting for the Model 3 to come out with a 35,000 mile, mile uh, version. For for those of you who are joining late, uh, um, it looks like it's coming in the next two to three months. Uh, love the trim on the Nero, uh, says Ben. Yes, I I, I mean, I, t I gotta tell you, I'm kind of in love with that car. It's really cool. I'm not even to SUVs. Um, uh, Tom Dean says, I'm really not interested in any other electric car until they have the infrastructure like Tesla does. Uh, I understand that. Tom, listen, it's granted that Tesla is the only company that's providing the infrastructure uh, for traveling, the supercharging infrastructure. But remember, a lot of people have two cars in their families. And uh, one car is usually being used for a family car for long trips. And actually, as a matter of fact, a lot of people rent cars for long trips. So really, all these other electric cars could be an alternative for your family. So for example, you have a Tesla Model X for your family, you can travel it and so forth. But but another car for your wife or for yourself to go to work, you know, 10 or 20 miles, you know, all of these new cars, including Nero EV as a really will do the trick. Um, 
Let's see. Uh, the concept and prototypes are usually nothing like the production vehicles, says uh, Cook Arpo, the author of the comment of the day. Uh, sometimes they are, sometimes they are not. I mean, in this case, uh, Kia Nero is probably very, very close because they've already been making it. There are very few adjustments that they've made for the body uh, to make sure because it's an electric car. So that one is expected to go in uh, production pretty much kind of the way it we've seen. Uh, but again, yes, we all realize that prototypes are not what's going on in production, but prototypes are exciting and they are sort of a glimpse of the future of what we're going to get. Uh, let's see, a lot of people are waiting for the Model 3 uh, and so forth. Yes, Model 3 is coming to a lot and already at a lot of, not a lot of it, but on the West Coast and East Coast, uh, some showrooms already uh, have it. In my honest opinion, once again joining us for the live stream, he says infrastructure is more than charging. It's also about repair, parts, service networks and so forth. Uh, so forth. Tesla has good charging, but repair infrastructure. That's actually not a good point. And this goes to uh, uh, um, to the comment of the day by Cook Arpo is that's right. You know, Tesla is still, you know, building up their uh, infrastructure for servicing. We know that they've been behind a lot of times. It takes a long time to get parts and so forth. Where companies like Kia and other, you know, other companies like GM and so forth, they got it all covered. They, they got it all covered. They have plenty of service centers and so forth. That's another good point that I missed. And this is why I love all of you guys providing uh, uh, so much information sometimes when I miss something or get something wrong right here in the chat room in the comment section. All right. Well, so don't forget, guys, tomorrow we are definitely going to hang out for much longer. We're going to recap everything that happened uh, this week. Uh, we're going to talk about some of my videos that I released from CES. And there's, there are more of them, of course, coming. So uh, got to go. Uh, definitely see you guys tomorrow uh, uh, at 11 a.m. Pacific. Thank you for all of the comments. And I will make sure to reply to all of them, of course, if you're watching this in replay. Um, other than that, see you guys next time. And remember to stay charged.